Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today, I'm gonna to be going over every single passive income business in Grand Theft Auto Online, how to operate them, which ones are they, and how much money can you make using all of these businesses. Now there are several passive income businesses in Grand Theft Auto Online heading into 2024, and in this video, I am going to be explaining all of them to you guys, how to run them, how they work, and how to run them as efficiently as possible. Now for a business to be considered as passive income, there can't be more than two steps involved to obtain the money that the business makes. They will also need to be relatively hands-off, meaning that you can forget about them for several hours before having to pay attention to them again. In short, passive income is the act of gaining money while exerting little energy and effort to get the money. This eliminates businesses like the bunker as well as the motorcycle club businesses because those require you to supply them, then wait for the product to be made, and then complete the sale missions to actually receive the income that they create which does take quite a while and it does require a decent amount of effort from the player. Now the businesses on this list are very simple, set them up, leave them alone, come back to them, collect the money, sometimes do a very small and relatively simple task and leave to go do whatever you want to do in Grand Theft Auto Online. The businesses that we're gonna be talking about in today's video are the nightclub, the new salvage yard business from the Chop Shop DLC, the agency, and the arcade. Now we're gonna start off with the arcade because beyond spending the money to get it, this business does not require you to do anything else. However, it also does provide the smallest reward. Let's get into it. All right guys, so the arcade's main function and the reason it exists in the first place is to provide access to the diamond casino heist for players. The passive income part of it is just a small secondary bonus to owning the business. Every 48 minutes of real time or every in-game day, the arcade's office safe will have a small amount of money deposited into it, which you can go and collect at any time. The safe has a maximum capacity of $100,000, so it does tend to fill up a little bit quickly. Now the arcade's daily take is dependent on how many arcade machines are inside of it, and there is a small loophole within this business that will allow you to use the arcade machine that comes with the business initially and put it in every single slot in the arcade, and this will enable you to make $5,000 every in-game day or every 48 minutes of real life time. Now, obviously this is not a ton of money. However, it will help to offset the cost of owning some of your businesses, garages, the mechanic fees, apartment fees, stuff like that. And once you couple this with the rest of the businesses on this list, this amount of money will start to add up fast. So that's the arcade. Let's go ahead and talk about the next business. Next up, we have the agency and is the next simplest of the businesses. However, at the start, it will be complicated and you will have to be prepared to grind a little bit because you are gonna have to put a decent amount of effort into this business to make the most out of it. Now within the agency, there is a wall safe that can be found within the player's office and this wall safe fills up with money completely passively every in-game day or every 48 minutes of real time. And it does have a maximum capacity of $250,000, which is pretty good. Now the daily deposited amount changes depending on how many security contracts the player has completed. For every five security contracts, the daily income will go up by $500. Now this maxes out at 201 security contracts completed, which will give you $20,000 every single in-game day. And all you have to do is complete these contracts. And once you have completed these contracts, you will not have to do anything else but go to this safe and collect your money. Now for each of these contracts that you are going to have to do, you're also gonna be paid $30,000 to $80,000 depending on the difficulty of the contract that you select to do. And when these are on double money, you can imagine how much money you can make by doing this. Now the easiest security contracts to complete our gang termination, recover valuables, and the rescue operation. Each of these missions should take no more than five minutes to complete, and I do recommend having an armed helicopter like the Buzzard or something like that that has lock-on missiles. It will make these super easy to complete. Now, unfortunately, the worst part of this business is there is a cooldown between these missions, and this does suck. However, it does give you an opportunity to work on the next two businesses that we are about to go over. So with this business, for example, once you reach 51 security contracts completed, coupled with the arcade, you'll be making $10,000 every single 
day or every 48 minutes of your real life time without having to do anything except go and actually empty these safes. Now this is just an example, obviously if you get those 201 contracts done, you're already making $25,000 a day without any effort other than going to empty your safes and obviously completing those contracts in the first place, but you're also going to be rewarded for doing them as well. So keep that in mind. That's it for the agency, it's time to talk about the next business. Now next up we have the brand new salvage yard business and it is the next easiest of the businesses to start making some additional passive income, albeit with a relatively high setup cost. For the salvage yard to earn you passive money, you are going to need a few things. The first of these is the tow truck it is needed for this business to start making money passively. Now these will cost you between $650,000 or $1,100,000 depending on if you get the beater tow truck or the new tow truck. The, the beater tow truck is a little bit slower than the new one, so depending on how much you're planning to use this, it might be worth it to buy the brand new tow truck. You're also going to need the staff upgrade to make it run as efficiently as possible. This will reduce the time it takes to make money from one hour and 36 minutes down to just 48 minutes or one in-game day for your staff member to salvage your vehicles that you're going to bring there with the tow truck. And for the last upgrade that you might want to consider getting, it is the wall safe upgrade. Now by default, the wall safe has a capacity of $100,000, but with the wall safe upgrade, it can hold $250,000. Now this might come in handy if you want to have some more time in between going to this business to collect your money. So consider that if it is something that you want to do. However, if you're on a budget, I would suggest against it, at least at the start, you can always renovate it later and add the additional capacity to your wall safe if you see fit. So now, how do we start earning passive income from this business? Well, you're gonna have to go down there and go to your tow truck, get in it and launch the tow truck service. Now you're gonna take your tow truck and go and pick up a vehicle and bring it back to your salvage yard. And you could do this twice, in rapid succession because your salvage yard does have two slots for these towed salvage vehicles. Once you get the vehicle or the vehicles back to your salvage yard, your staff member or non-staff member, depending on if you've upgraded or not, will begin dismantling these vehicles. After 48 minutes of arriving with the first one, you will get between $30,000 and $60,000 deposited directly into your bank account. However, beyond this, depending on how many vehicles you've delivered to the salvage yard, your wall safe will begin collecting passive money. Now for each vehicle you deliver, your wall safe income will increase. Now there are a few complications to this business. I've heard conflicting reports that this maxes at $24,000 per day into your wall safe. However, I've also heard that it maxes out at $50,000 per day into your wall safe. Now in my experience, I've only gained $24,000 a day. However, this could be just because I haven't done enough tow truck deliveries to max it out fully. I am not 100% sure at this point and nobody seems to have a definitive answer to this when I am making this video. If I get a definitive answer, I will put it in the pinned comment down below, so pay attention to that if you are interested. Now additionally to this, if you do two tow truck deliveries for example and then you get off of the game, the next time that you come online you will have the money that those vehicles that you delivered deposited into your bank account from being salvaged, so that is pretty cool. Overall this could potentially get you between $24,000 to $50,000 per in-game day depending on how many vehicles that you have delivered to your salvage yard and that is not even counting the price of the salvaging of the vehicles. So so overall, the new salvage yard business is actually pretty good for passive income, but now of course we have to talk about the best passive income business in the entire game, but be warned, it is also the most expensive and the most complicated. Finally, we have the nightclub. Now the nightclub is by far the most expensive business in the entire game to get fully set up and equipped to make the most amount of money possible. However, just simply purchasing the nightclub can make you a decent amount of money to begin with and then you can upgrade it further along the line and get it to be more and more efficient. Now there are two passive income methods with the nightclub. The first is found upstairs in the normal nightclub and it is through the wall safe. Every 48 minutes you will get money deposited into your safe and this is directly linked to how high your popularity bar is within the nightclub. Now for the first two ticks in the first bar, your safe will gain $50,000 every time a bar goes down. 
The third tick will give you another $45,000. And then once you are down to one quarter of a bar, you'll get $25,000 for that last tick. I recommend checking the popularity once your safe reaches $145,000 out of its $250,000 capacity, just to make sure, and then to do the missions to get the popularity back up. Now to gain popularity within the nightclub and get your money back up to $50,000 every day, there are some simple little missions that you can do upon entering the nightclub. Now I do have a tip for this that is very clutch. My tip is to go into passive mode before you enter into the nightclub. Doing this will always cause the kick out troublemaker event as long as you have not visited and done it within 48 minutes prior to going into the nightclub. This will spawn a blue dot on your map. You simply walk up to the troublemaker and eject them from the nightclub. This will boost your popularity back from one quarter of a bar all the way back to full and pay you $10,000 and it will cause you to earn $50,000 every in-game day again for those two ticks and then $45,000 and then you rinse and repeat this. So you only have to show up every three in-game days, collect the money, do this mission and then leave for the upstairs of this business. Now the second passive part of the business involves the nightclub basement and this is where things get expensive and a little more complicated. By default the nightclub basement has one level but it is upgradable to five levels and each of these levels adds a certain amount of more stock that your nightclub basement can hold. Now within the basement contraband that is sourced from other businesses that you own in GTA Online is stored in your nightclub basement. By default you can have one technician that can do this sourcing and you can upgrade to having five. Now for this to work as effectively as possible, you will need to own the following five businesses. Coke Lockup, the Meth Lab, the Counterfeit Cash Business, the Bunker, and either a CEO office and cargo warehouse or a hangar. Now once you have these businesses and once you've purchased all the technicians, you can assign each of them to start accruing goods completely passively from each of these businesses. Now you don't need to have any of these businesses upgraded or need to be supplying them or doing anything, you just simply need to own them. Now to get money from this, you will need to do the sale mission once your technicians have actually accrued a decent amount of goods into your nightclub basement. And you don't need to do these sale missions very often. I usually do one every 12 hours of in-game time. Now with all these technicians combined accruing goods from the best businesses, you will make about $41,571 per hour without doing anything. Now, keep in mind, you won't earn this money until you actually do the sale mission at the very end, but these will passively accrue over time, and you can just do one big sale mission every 12 hours, like I said, and you'll earn over a million dollars from it, which is pretty insane. All right, guys, so those are all of the passive income businesses that are worth doing in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, with each of these businesses earning as much money as possible, how much will we be making? $5,000 from the arcade, $20,000 from the agency, $50,000 from the salvage yard, and $50,000 from the nightclub safe. Now, with all of the businesses running at peak efficiency, and this is only counting the wall safe income, that is $125,000 per in-game day. However, if you factor in the nightclub basement, we're at $166,000 per day. And if you couple this with the tow truck salvage vehicles, assuming that they are earning $30,000 each, which is on the very low end, that's $226,000 every day and $286,000 if the vehicles sell for the higher end at about $60,000 each. So for simply maintaining the nightclub and the salvage yard while having the agency security contracts maxed out and owning an arcade with all of the game machines in place, you're making about $225,000 to $285,000 per in-game day or every 48 minutes of real life. So this is pretty insane. You can earn almost $300,000 a day for little to no effort. And you could be doing other things during this time as well in online, like running your other businesses like the Bunker, CEO Cargo, any of your MC businesses, whatever you actually want to be doing. And you're gonna earn about an additional 300 grand a day 
while you do all of these other things. So there you have it, guys. Those are all of the passive income businesses in Grand Theft Auto Online heading into 2024. If you guys enjoyed this video, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.